What's going on, everybody? Craig Michelson with Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps. Recruit time now, and we're going to introduce you to one of the top players in Southern California. He's a catcher, Daryl Miller Jr., the senior from Servite High School in Anaheim, California. I uh, had an injury before uh, the season started, so I kind of had to battle through uh, rehab and uh, getting my ankle taken care of and all that. You know, it's kind of been a, a little, it's been difficult this year, you know, going from last year, you know, going, hitting 500, you know, this year hitting 320, 330, you know, because there's a little pain involved. But so it's kind of, you know, this year's more mental for me than uh, physical, just kind of being uh, mentally strong and, you know, learning how to uh, handle failure. You know, sometimes I get frustrated and I kind, of, I, I kind of see myself, you know, going to the dugout, not throwing anything, but, you know, getting my head down. So this year's really big uh, mental year. You know, I know that um, I might not uh, do physically as well as I want to, but I know that mentally I need to stay in it because at, uh, at the next level and the level above that, you know, you're not going to be succeeding, you know, five out of ten times. It's going to be a three out of, out, of, out of ten thing, you know, so. And I know I can hit, but, uh, you know, I just got to stay confident. Who are some of Daryl's favorite players? A couple, you know, I really like uh, Buster Posey because, uh, you know, he's a catcher. And uh, he's a big, you know, he, he still plays, I feel like he plays pro ball, kind of still like college ball, you know, how he swings and how he plays. You know, I think a lot a lot of times with pro ball now, you know, guys are too, you know, nonchalant. And, you know, I think that a lot of it needs to be more like when my dad played, you know, guys went 110%. There wasn't people jogging. So I really feel like he brings that aspect behind the plate, which is what I would like to, you know, bring behind the plate, you know, if I were to be there one day. Uh, Garrett Anderson, how he swings, you know, I, I, I really... Yeah, real smooth. I really like, and my, that's my biggest problem, you know, being too jerky, herky-jerky. You know, I, I feel like I really need to, I, I like to look at him on video and just see how he gets it through the zone. Although he's a lefty, you know, it's, it's the same, you know, almost the same concept for a righty. You know, you, you know, lefties might be able to pull off and do their thing pull-wise, but biggest is probably Pujols. Just for uh, his, you know, his swing, you know, his uh, mentality, his approach to the plate. I have the same approach. Uh, you know, he, he's talking about keeping a, taking an inside pitch and driving it the other way. That's all I've been taught. I'm, I don't know how to pull balls. <laughs> I still don't know how I'm working on that. So um, uh, Pujols' biggest, you know, working on, you know, the hands and the backside, wide stance, seeing the ball. That's Pujols the most. What does he love about playing catcher? You know, I love the leadership role as a catcher. Um, that's why, you know, I don't like really playing that many other positions because you don't get to lead as everyone sees you behind the plate. So you, you're able to dictate the tempo. You're able to dictate how people think of you based off of you. But, you know, it, it's also taught me to be confident, uh, being able to be confident and be able to believe in my ability to play catcher. And uh, if I believe in my ability, that's all that matters. You know, people, there are going to be people who don't believe in you. There's going to be teammates who don't believe in you, but it's up to you to believe in yourself. And, you know, that's really taught me to... You know, if they don't believe me, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going to play my game, you know, do what I'm supposed to do behind the plate because, you know, it's a team game, but then it's also a, a single-person game. That's what's cool about baseball. So it's really taught me, you know, to uh, be confident and want to lead everyone, you know, uh, help work with work with the pitcher, kind of groom them. Yeah, you know, you got you really got you, you to gotta help them, you know, because sometimes they get riled up. You got guys who if you yell at, they're going to freak out. You know, if you have guys who are more calm, you need to rile them up. You, you kind of get, you get, you get to work with personalities. You get to... I, uh, that's what I really like. You, you know, there's more to it than just the physical game. There's a lot of mental parts. Daryl mentioned his dad earlier. Well, his dad is former Major League catcher Daryl Miller, who also runs the Major League Baseball Urban Academy. From that, what has his dad helped him with in the game? And also, what do his teammates like to do when he's on camera? Uh, pitch calling. Biggest thing with my dad. You know, he's really, since a young age, um, you know, I would play, ca you know, catcher in Little League, but, you know, for a game, but I was most, yeah, you know, it was my shortstop, but the, when I, when I would, he would, uh, when I would, when I would catch, he would let me call, and he, so I've been able to really learn how to call pitches to uh, specific type of hitters, um, so really with my dad, it's been mostly, you know, pitch calling and the mental side, you know, he, he knows that I'm a young catcher, I've uh, only really, really been catching seriously for two years, um, so he knows that, um, uh, he knows that, you know, I'm not going to be, you know, as far along groomed. I'm not going to be um, as groomed, you know, as maybe Jeremy because he's been catching, you know, as um, A.J. Kennedy, my good friend, you know, because they've been catching. I haven't been catching. So it's just and, I, and I've really uh, worked hard to get to the point that I'm at being on their level already. So, you know, the, I know I'm just going to get better and I know hopefully that I'll be, you know, somewhere past them and playing with better talent and more guys. Uh, Daryl, you know, he's an easy out to me. I mean, I faced him three or four times and, you know, get him out on that changeup. He's, you know, he, cheat, he cheats to the fastball and, you know, expects the curveball. But, no, he's, he's an easy out. But, you know what, he's been a great teammate. Um, he and I have played varsity all four years. And, and it's amazing to have a guy like him backing me up and telling me 
um, you know, what my tendencies are and all that. Because he, he knows who I am and I know who he is. And, I, and we, we kind of work that, work that together. Daryl is a big leader behind the plate. Uh, he's, as a catcher, you have to be a leader. You, know, you have to be a born leader. Uh, you have to have the ability to throw and catch and uh, receive a baseball. Where does Daryl plan to take his game after service? My three big ones was uh, UCLA, UCI, and UCSB. Um, and, you know, I, I knew, I, I know a lot of guys going to UCLA, which had a big impact on um, my decision. You know, I know Ty, I know Lucas Giolito, I know Hunter Barant, and, you know, Grant, they might not uh, go to UCLA. You know, I still, it's still, I still feel more comfortable going into the program, knowing those guys. And I didn't choose UCLA because my uncle, I didn't choose because he went there. That had nothing to do with it. I chose because I felt most comfortable, you know, with uh, Coach Savage. I chose because uh, also academically um, and you know the surroundings you know UCI is more of a co uh, commuter school uh, UCLA you kind of get to live the, the campus lives you know have the college experience which is a big you know an important part for me they have football you see I didn't have football but most importantly you know having coach Savage coach Savage is a lot like coach Lon uh, coach Lon was my coach all the way up you know as you know uh, until this year uh, coach Savage is a lot a lot like coach Lon they're really good friends they have like the same uh, the same mental, you know, they play it the same way mentally, um, and uh, that, that drew me a lot. UCLA, and John is getting a great guy, uh, and uh, he has a little bit of power in his stick, and at hitting at Jackie Robinson is going to be a lot of fun for Daryl, you know, and I think his family, uh, um, aunt and uncle are pretty happy that he's going to UCLA as well. Incoming freshman year, you know, I just want to, um, you know, make a statement, make a statement as a freshman, you know, go in there, you know, I know. I want to be confident, you know, I don't want to go in thinking I'm a freshman, I think I'm a little guy, you know, I want to go in there, you know, with, you know, with the mentality that I'm, you know, there with everyone else, you know, I'm not going to go in there cocky, but I'm going to go in there, you know, I'm, I'm with these guys, I'm going to practice hard, I want to play hard, and I want to, I have to earn my spot, it's not going to be given to me, you know, I don't want any, no political, I want to earn it, I'm going to work as hard as I can to earn it, and you know what, it'll just, it'll work out, you know, same thing with the draft, you know, play hard here, not look too far in the, uh, in the future. But what about playing professional? Yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, it's up in the air. You know, both guys are, are good enough to get drafted. Both guys are good enough to play on, at the next level. But somebody's got to like you, you know. And it only takes one to like you. And then you you got to have uh, make a big choice in life at an early young age. The draft is, you know, people say you know be relaxed uh, when there's scouts here, and there's a lot of scouts here. But you know, there's you know there's scouts that call my dad. You know, uh, and it's hard to stay relaxed. You know, you try and do too much. You feel like you have to impress him, but really, you know, that's a, another part of the game. You know, having the smooth approach. You know, having the having the ability to stay mentally you know strong and just do my own thing. And you know, I'm just gonna let that you know you know go the way it goes. You know, I, I can't um, pro ball. You know, it's my dream. Of course, I want to play pro ball. Of course. But you know, I also want to go to college. There's two things I want to do. You know, and so. It, you know, there's, there's gonna, it's going to come down to some things, you know, signing-wise and to, you know, really get me to go uh, play pro ball, but I really want to play pro ball, so there's not the possibility that I wouldn't want to play, you know, so, but, you know, that's a thing of the future, you know, right now I got to, I don't want to look too far ahead because, uh, you know, I still have high school, so do what I can and, you know, God willing, I sign. God willing, I go to college, God willing, I don't break my arm, you know, you never know what can happen, you can't, you can't predict. The Miller last name is synonymous with athletic excellence, including his uncle Reggie and Aunt Cheryl. Does this add any pressure to Daryl? Oh, uh, a lot of pressure, and that's what a lot of people don't get. Um, you know, it, it, people say, you know, it, it must be cool to have an uncle, you know, who played professional, a dad to play professional. You know, it has, it, you know, it, it's cool, and you know, Aunt Cheryl, who is a great, one of the best women's basketball players in history, but. Um, I mean, it has its days, you know, it has its cool moments, but it also has, you know, it's a lot of pressure. And, you know, people say, you know, you have people saying, you know, you're going to UCLA because your uncle went to UCLA. Well, no, I, had, I put a lot of hard work and he didn't play baseball. So, you know, I did, I did that myself. You no, know, so you, you get a lot of people out there who, you know, haters, you know, people saying that you don't deserve something or people say you don't work hard, you know, you have a big family name. But, you know, at a D1 level, they're not going to take someone who doesn't work hard and isn't, and isn't good. Um, it's just, you know, it's tough having a family with a big name, but, um, just kind of have to battle through it. You know, my dad never pushed me to play baseball. He always let me play three sports, which I think was great. And I, I chose baseball. I've been not playing football, no basketball, I chose baseball. So I chose to play this. What is he going to miss about playing at Survey? Um, I'm going to miss, you know, I'm going to miss all of them. I'm going to miss my, they're my buds. You know, I, I hang out with them all the time. You know, I guarantee you they're doing something stupid behind me. I guarantee you, you know. Oh, thank God. No, well, now they're God. Now they're not. But, you know, we, we mess with each other. I always mess with them so they, they have the right to mess with me. It's. It, 
High school, you know, is uh, people take it too serious. You know, it's th this is the time of your life. You know, for the people, who, you know, for me and Cole, you know, this is the time of our lives. You know, college is going to be where you know you really have to get serious. And pro ball, you know, you it's either you perform or you don't. You know, you don't get paid and you're done. So you know, this is the time of my life. You know, I think I'm going to miss mostly. Uh, you know, having classes with all my friends, you know, having this close bond and that I know I'll have at UCLA, but, um, you know, I, I've grown up, you know, with a lot of these kids living in the same area, and now a lot of broader areas are going to be coming together. So I, I know these kids that live near me, my friend Mike Long, you know, he lives right near me, he's my, my best friend, so I'm going to miss him, I'm going to miss a lot of my buds, you know, just going to school here, it's a great school. Thanks for watching Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, keeping you in demand.